Gaming Studio 2. I've been using it for about 3 months now, and I started using it because I had to. I heard that I needed to make a game for school with Game Maker Studio 2. At first, I disliked this. I thought, why would we need to use something that costs $100 if there are a lot of better and free programs? This is what I thought before using Game Maker Studio ever. I thought it would just be a ripoff. Again, $100. Just a waste of money to get an engine, if there are a lot of other ones. So downloaded Game Maker Studio 2, doubting that I would spend too much time on it, thinking that I only would use it once a week or something for the game for school. I started Game Maker for the first time, made a project and followed the tutorials we had to follow, and I fell in love with the engine immediately. It turned into my main engine, I came from a mainly 3D engine, Unreal Engine 4. I had been trying to make 2D games in Unreal Engine 4 for a really long time and it was really annoying. And I tried Unity once and it was just... I hated it. Sorry to the Unity users. But Game Maker resonated with me immediately when I started using it. I understood everything really quickly because of the tutorials. No, you didn't come here to hear about why I use GameX Studio 2, but I think it was important to say. The engine was made with having new game developers in mind. The layout is really easy to understand, which a lot of other engines aren't. For example, Unity. I had no idea how the user interface worked there. The programming was also made in this way. For the absolute new game devs who never did any programming or something like it, there is the drag and drop system, also known as DND in the game engine. It's really easy to understand and it's visual scripting, so if you don't like text, use DND. For the people who do have experience, there's the Game Maker language. It's a bit harder to understand, but it's still very easy. But one downside to both of them, mostly Game Maker language, is that you can only use it in Game Maker itself, nowhere else. This might be a turndown for you if you want to do more general coding stuff outside of the engine, but you can still do a lot in Game Maker, not only making games. But I don't know much about that, so I'm not going to go further into that. Oh yeah, by the way, before you think that this video is sponsored by Game Maker or something, look at my sub count. I don't even have 200 subs, and this is just this is just a love letter to the engine. It I think it's just so good that it deserves a video from me. Because I'm amazing. No, 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 no. <laughs> now on the subject of documentation. Is Game Maker Studio 2 well documented? I would say yes. There are a lot of people who make good understandable tutorials for it. And most importantly, the developers of Game Maker, YoYo Games, also have a YouTube channel with very useful tutorials. The ones I use to get into Game Maker. And if you don't know what the thing does in Game Maker, you could just press the middle mouse button and open the manual. It has, as far as I know, everything about Game Maker in it. Using the manual could also really help you if you don't like using video tutorials. And yeah, the documentation for Game Maker might be less than Unity or Unreal or whatever engine you use. But that doesn't mean it's bad documentation. Like I said, it has really good documentation. The only difference is that there's less. As I shortly talked about earlier, Game Maker Studio 2 is a 2D engine. It might even be the best 2D engine. But I can't be sure about that because I haven't used a lot of other engines, only Unreal mostly, and Unity once. So now I'm gonna try to tell you some downsides to the engine, so you know your limitations when you get into the engine so you won't get disappointed. So a problem that I've noticed the most is the sound. 
For some reason, it's kind of bad, especially the music. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll let you take a listen to the difference between sound for my game at Alec Massacre. Yes, like I said, this does sound worse, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to fix it. Haven't found one yet myself yet, but I'm still looking. Lighting in games are nice, wouldn't you agree? Well, Game Maker Studio 2 doesn't have a built-in lighting system. Luckily, there's a free asset on the Game Maker Studio 2 asset store, and it's really good. It casts shadows and everything. It has everything you want. It might be too complex for you, though. In that case, you could make a simple one by just following a good and easy tutorial. I used one a while ago, didn't fit for me, but it might fit for your game. Also, I forgot which tutorial it was, so sorry about that, I can't put it in the description. <laughs> the only reason why I'm putting the lighting system in the downsides part is because it isn't in the engine by default. It would be really nice if it was, but it isn't. Something that also might be really annoying for some people is that you have to program everything. Almost everything, but yeah, you could say everything. Like, you have to program where the UI elements are, and if you want to squish something or something like that. You have to program all of that in by code. So that could be really tedious for you, but I personally like it, so I don't mind. So, the big question. Is Game Maker Studio 2 worth it? For me, yes. Absolutely. But I really can't answer this question for you though. If you want a good 2D engine and you think Game Maker sounds good from what I've told you, then you should really try it and just try the one month uh, trial. It's completely free, you don't have to put in your bank information or something like that. You can just use it and if you like it, you can buy it. If you do use the trial, there are very good tutorials, I will put them in the description down below, from YoYo Games, which I also used to get into the engine. The tutorial is a bit outdated though, but that doesn't matter, it still works. So, yeah. Don't buy the engine because I said it was worth it. Buy it because you've tried it and you really liked it. And when you buy it, make sure you buy the license that fits your needs. Don't just buy the cheapest one. Well anyway, that was all. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. That would really make me happy. Also, recently I started streaming on Twitch again, where I sometimes play games and most of the time make games. If you're interested, go to twitch.tv slash space or follow the link down in the description and please give me a follow. I'm trying to get to 50 followers and at the time of this recording, I'm at 41. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye!